Hello, today I'm going to attempt to understand and explain how this very cute little CSS demo is done using the browser DevTools here in Firefox. This demo I found on CodePen today and it's by Peter Klein here. All right, so let's take a look. The first thing that you want to do if you want to understand a little bit easier how this all works is because if you go to the tools and open the um, inspector, it will be it may be a bit hard to find your elements here because there's a ton of stuff going on for CodePen. You know, that's the whole markup for CodePen basically. So one thing you can do is if you go to the options panel here and you scroll down to the list of available toolbox button, you'll see that there's one that is used to select an iframe. I have it on already. It's this little icon here. Um, make sure you have it because the, the idea bef behind that is that if you if you select the icon, you'll see a list of all the iframes that actually are currently on the page. So I select this one and I know it was the one in the center here. And I only see now, I mean, all of the tools only see uh, the content in this iframe only, which makes it a lot easier to understand the demo. Another thing you could do using Firefox right click menu is if you go to this frame menu, you'll have show only this frame here and it will get rid of all the rest, which is here, which is nice. Uh, and yet another thing you could do as well is if you select all of the elements that are not really interesting to your demo and just basically delete them all. So I'm just using the delete key on my keyboard to clean everything up basically. And now I only have one element, which is the one that I'm actually interested in. Okay, so we see a CISO and two men jumping on it. There's one element that contains everything that doesn't seem to be animated or anything. It just seems to be here for uh, centering the whole thing. So that's not very interesting to us right now. And then we have two parts, lower part and top part. So the bottom part here seems to represent the, the stand and has two pseudo elements before and after and each of them seem to be one leg of the stand so let's get rid of that as well and now we have the actual animation itself so the parent element is the seesaw itself and it rotates left and right we can see that it has let's scroll back up we can see that it has an animation defined and we can see the steps of the animations right here as keyframes. And if we just look at one of the rotates, we will see how the whole thing is set up. So it rotates from 20 degrees to minus 20, and then it stays at minus 20 for a while, and then 20, just to give it a bit of a natural movement. To make the rest of the uh, of the work easier, we can pause that animation. Now the movement isn't very natural anymore, but it's easier to understand the rest. So if we take a look inside the CISO top element, we have, so the load box is probably what appears when I mouse over. Let's get rid of that as well. And we have now two men, um, man left and man right. And they are both animated because I can see that here. The animation is called man left jump and it has basically just animating a transform again from 0 to 50, 65, 100% using translate and rotate. Yeah, just a combination of these two things basically to make the man jump. Let's pause that as well. And now we see that there's one remaining animation which we didn't see clearly when the man went ju was jumping, but it's actually a very important detail because it makes the whole thing a little bit more natural. So if we expand the man, we see a man upper part, which seems to be for the head, uh, for the radius to make the head round. And if we open the man upper part, we see before and after pseudo elements so before is for the left arm, after for the right arm, and they are both animated as well. As you can see, animation name here, uh, two seconds, transform again, simple rotate, 
Alright, and then the man lower part also has before and after, and one for the leg, the left leg, and the other for the right leg. And they are both animated as well using a rotate, I'm pretty sure. There you go. So it's a pretty simple set of animations, but the way that they are uh, nested together and uh, synchronized makes for the whole uh, thing to be pretty a pretty nice demo. If I just I will just play all of the animations again. So the thing is that I've paused and played the animations at different times. So now everything is unsynchronized. So it's not very nice anymore but you get the idea I think that's it thanks for watching